Alright, pinball fucking FX3, table 34. So what are we going to do for this one? Well, uh, we're going back to Marvel. And uh, occasionally, some Marvel stories go rather over the top with all these extreme sort of mystical powers that uh, people have uh, Doctor Strange being a, a classic example and they, they go sort of full-on pretentious bollocks really sometimes uh, the Silver Surfer always seems to be surrounded by a load of pretentious shit and um, well this next table is one that uh, very much uh, it comes under that category Fear itself. So yes, this is fear itself. And uh, well, let's just dive straight in, load it up. As you can see, my high score, 81.1 million, is currently by far the highest of everybody who's played it. There are a lot of people though who have this table who haven't played it yet. Uh, at least two of which will absolutely bury my fucking top score. I expect them to be getting at least ten times what I've got here. Uh, that score I have there is the best I've managed on this table by far. I never got close to that in FX2. So anyway, let's uh, load her up. So with this one, it is... Well, you, you get the obvious sort of visual hint there that Captain America is in it. Uh, thankfully, he's not in it very much, at least not as far as this table goes. But to give you an idea of how over, you know, over the, overboard and everything it is, and how overblown, um, this is basically Norse gods uh, engaged in some sort of battle, uh, which is going to end up somehow destroying the entire world. So it's rather overblown. I say it, it is extremely pretentious, largely because. Well, one of the reasons why I think Thor is the worst superhero of the entire Marvel Universe is that they basically take Norse mythology and then have one almighty shit all over it. Because even though they get the names right, I mean that, gold, that bloke in the gold armour there, that's supposed to be Odin. So they've got the names right, but it, I mean, it is absolute fucking bollocks. If you are like me and you have an interest in um, Norse mythology, now you see that uh, cunt standing there with that big hammer and with the fucking red face. If you don't know who that is, you won't believe it when I tell you. It is another Norse god. Uh, that was Skadi. A, a fucking no. Skadi in Norse mythology is uh, the goddess of uh, winter or or snow, or this, but it's, it's something to do with like the wintry something or other. And she was always supposed to be like extremely attractive. Well, yeah, they got that wrong. Uh, that's just the physical appearance, everything else, so fuck it, it's just not even close. So yeah, Mar old Stanley and Marvel take uh, the uh, take Norse mythology and turn it into a bunch of fucking costume superheroes and supervillains, and it's just fucking bollocks, I hate it. So the fact that I can't stand the story doesn't bode very well for this table. In fact, I do think this table is pretty fucking good. Because, well, among the many reasons why I like it, it has a very unique feature. No other table has it. One of the loops, you can just see it here. It, one of the loops is actually behind the main uh, playing area. And it's not always easy, actually, to uh, use that loop, so we'll get a go on the way and see if we can do it. Awakens. I fear the final prophecy is at hand. Yeah, so that was Odin talking, saying, Skadi Awakens, I fear the final prophecy is at hand. What the... <laughs> A 
their fear strengthens, and so too does my power. Punish and terrify every single living thing you can. Yeah, so we've had all of the uh, spoken intros. So, I mean, it is sort of Captain America versus the fucking uh, Norse gods sort of thing. It, 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 yeah, so I, I think I've made the point here that I do not like the fucking story one bit. And that was a complete fucking bollocks. Oh, fuck off. So what I get there? 390,000. What a fucking pile of shit. The serpent's only strategy is slaughter. And slaughter he shall. Again and again. All I am actually trying to do, although you wouldn't think it, is hit that target there. Uh, now I'm going to hit it a second time. When I do that, the uh, area opens up. Okay. Looks like I started a uh, multi-ball session. Or not. That's supposed to be using the... Uh, Rear ramp, or well, yeah, the rear. Here we go. But again, for some reason, the ball is just going too slowly. So that's not a uh, ball out. I've got to hit the uh, spinner. The spinner is a lot bigger on this table than on any other table in FX two or three. But uh, I can't hit the fucking thing to save your life, and the ball's fucking gone out anyway. Oh, fuck off! Oh. Yeah, I haven't even got one million yet. What a Fucking load of bollocks! Let's get out there and save the world. I managed to start one feature and uh, yeah, got fuck all nowhere with it. We need weapons. Right, finally hit that. Now if I can hit it again. Then this will result in the uh, the summoning of one of the worthy. There we go, right. And Angria is the one I want. <coughs> now, to defeat this one, you have to basically hit uh, the uh, bumpers. You do literally win the fight against Angria by beating the fuck out of him. So I only punched him once then. If I can hit the uh, ramps, it will increase the strength of uh, each punch. There we go, there's one. So now each uh, bumper counts as two punches, but the ball's gone out anyway. Fuck off. 3.8 million. What a fucking sack of cunt. Alright, let's try that again. Because that was absolute shite. I fear Oh, fuck off! And now it's gone out again! Fuck you, you fucking cunt! Right, let's try this again. Fuck it! Right, again, as you can see, once I start getting frustrated with this fucking game, it doesn't take much for it to just carry on. I think I'm going to have to, oh we go, actually use the uh, outer uh, uh, orbital there. Yeah, I think I may have to uh, take a break from reviewing these uh, soon, because I'm just getting endlessly frustrated with them. Obviously, I hadn't activated the uh, worthy just yet, even though I hit the targets. And out of fucking gain! I've fucking scored over 81 million on this fucking table, and now, of course, I'm recording them. No, oh, no, no. We're gonna make it so that you don't score fuck all. Look at that! I mean, do you need any more fucking evidence about what I say of 
the ludicrous amount of luck needed in pinball games. So I've, right, I've got that fucking target area open. Let's see if I can actually fucking hit it. And, uh, no. This is heading again towards the uh, lock. Okay, that's handy. Oh, fucking hell, again, I'll fucking hit the target, but... Uh, The lock is lit, I think. It's supposed to be. Fuck yeah! Now, let's get out there and save the world. The shadow of the serpent will fall across the world tree soon. That's another uh, ball lock that's uh, become available if I can fire it into the uh, dark Asgard pit. There you go. So yeah, you get this sort of Archimoid sort of area. You have to hit him in the back. I think it's three times. There we go. Well, that's the first time I've ever actually been able to get through that uh, video mode. So I've actually got 14 million. I've actually got a decent score, despite the fact that I haven't been able to activate a single one of the fucking things I'm trying to show. Actually, I did, yeah, I did get uh, angry uh, summoned, but... Uh, I didn't do fuck all with him once he was here. The lock is lit. Right, now the lock is lit, right. Actually starting to get somewhere, the there we go. The so that's the first ball locked. There we go. I always choose Angrier as the first. Blasey because he's the easiest. He's not easy, but he is the easiest. Right, so each punch is now three times as powerful. It's easy to keep accidentally hitting those ramps and not actually uh, hit the fucker at all, so I've hit him once. But because, yes, the uh, strength of each punch has been uh, trebled, oh, I'm sure that was going straight out. I'm scoring more, but then the ball goes straight fucking out anyway, so fucking, yeah. So I'm able to actually start this fucking uh, mode, but uh, I can't do fuck all with it. <coughs> right, we'll have uh, uh, another attempt. So well, I've got that area opened already, but I don't think it's going to allow me to summon the worthy this fucking early on in the game. Let's try. Yes, it has. Okay, right, there's Angria. That just means, though, I'm going to lose the ball uh, pretty soon. Right, so, double punch. So now we should uh, be beating the fuck out of him a fair bit. Yep. And around the outer loop. And punching in some more. Ah, not hard enough. There we go, so now each punch is triple strength. And now Bond, oh no, it's still uh, triple. So you can see uh, the number of punches needed to finish. Uh, was going up by three, or going down by three, I should say. Now, uh, I forget how much he's gone up by now. Going into that, it's still at two, so it's gone down. Now it's at three. Uh, outer loop again. Uh, 
now at five, but I've got to fucking actually hit them. You're, there is a time limit. Fucking hell, I've only got ten seconds to go. I just can't fucking know. And the ball's fucking gone out anyway, you fucking piece of cunt. So 22.7 million after ball one. Well, compared to every other guy I've had in this fucking video so far, that's doing well. Uh, right, anyway, let's get the uh, review underway then, shall we? Um, graphically, yeah, alright. I don't like how they uh, make the uh, gr uh, uh, Norse gods look like fucking superheroes. It just doesn't look good to me. But nevertheless, the graphics quality is uh, is still good as it always is. Uh, in terms of audio, it's very much a typical uh, sort of pinball table. Uh, experience it is quite noisy there's a lot of uh, music there that's really sort of trying to uh, perk you up and sort of you know carry you along same with the actual sound effects uh, all of the vocal effects and uh, you know the, the speech samples they go on a bit long and you do sit there thinking just fucking shut up which they never do and uh, in terms of the uh, uh, table layout itself, it's it is a pretty good layout. It's also extremely frustrating, as you have uh, quite clearly seen. Um, and it does have that absolutely unique feature with the uh, the loop going around the uh, back of the play area so right let's try angry again now this fucking punch up has uh, been reset I've now got a oh fuck off I'm gonna do ball save with active Uh, so this is the easiest of the the worthy to defeat. I'm trying to decide. There's either five or six of them. Oh, I thought I'd fuck that. Well, I did fuck it, but I got away with it. Using that uh, rear loop uh, quite a bit. There we go. So anyway, yeah. So I do like the table layout. Uh, layout. There are plenty of video modes within the uh, table as well. So uh, there is an awful lot of variety. So there's a lot to like about the table, but there is also a fucking hell of a lot to frustrate you about this table. So at that 42 million, if I hadn't had that 81 million go yesterday, that would have been my best ever. I'll actually put me an eight to that one. I haven't done anything to the uh, upgrades yet. Apparently there is a multiple mode. I've never got close to starting it. And, uh, yeah, ball save time, I haven't got a clue how to uh, uh, get that started either. So, well, I would stick with the two uh, power-ups I've got selected here, um, you know, as is. I would not certainly not choose the multiple one, even though I usually do. But I've had this many goes and I've never started the multiple session, so there's no point me choosing that... Uh, uh, upgrade because I would hardly ever get the chance to use it. Anyway, uh, 
Okay, one more fucking go. I fear the final prophecy is I do not think I'm gonna last long here either. I think uh, that 42 million is by far the best go I'm gonna have in this video. Um but yeah, fucking hell. I didn't think I'd get that that quick. Oh, there he is. And the thing is, if you are able to beat the fuck out of them, um, that's not the end of it. You then have to actually physically hit uh, the worthy within the table as they appear as a sort of cardboard cutout target. And uh, yeah, you have to hit them with the ball. Not just once, but about, I think it's about eight times or something. So uh, yes, defeating a worthy is not easy it's quite a long-winded process but you do get a hell of a lot of points uh, you know in the process so yes even though I am getting monumentally frustrated with the uh, table here uh, I do think it is uh, a really good one I would score this uh, eight and a half out of ten the, the stories are pretentious load of bollocks, but, uh, you know, and, and what they do to uh, fucking Norse uh, gods is just fucking laughably shy. But, um, yeah, at least the table plays well. And I guess that is the, uh, ultimately, the most important thing. I'll certainly need that. Uh, time ran out. So, well, there we go. Well, it was inevitable the ball would fucking go out. that reminds me there is a bit of a glitch on this table um, the ball can sometimes get stuck on the spinner and uh, yeah when that happens you've got uh, no option but to nudge the table which I do not like doing You have more than just one punch per hit, otherwise, I'm never going to get through. Uh... And again, I need more power in the punches, so I've got to hit the ramps. Alright, hit them fucking harder than that. And straight fucking out. I had the magma save and forgot to fucking use it. Now, let's get out there and save the world. We need counter weapons. I do have an extra ball available as well, but uh, I've got to be able to hit it. It's in a sinkhole which I hit several times, but uh, never uh, intentionally. 
now that I'm going to try and aim for it, you can bet your life I won't hit it. Oh, there you go, I did. <laughs> and another extra ball lift, which I've just got. So I've now got two extra balls. Uh, enough of my problems. I guarantee you I'll still score next to fuck all on this uh, go. Hey, what am I at at the moment? 33.2 million. Okay, well, it's not a bad score. The skill shot, by the way, is to uh, hit that spinner and have it send the uh, ball around the, uh, the loop under the main playing area. Um, it's even more luck based than anything else. I'm going to pretend that I didn't see that. Don't stop shooting. Fill them with doubt and panic and fear. And, oh, fuck it, I thought that was going straight out. And, yeah, there we go. And I still, I keep forgetting to use the fucking magma save. Mind you, it's difficult to fucking time it. So, last fucking extra ball. I completely wasted the uh, previous one. Fucking... this mode started before. I keep trying to, but never actually succeeded. That. So it stands so fucking close to the flippers that if, it, if the ball hits it, it pretty much goes straight out. Fuck. So I, I give this table 8 out of 10. Frankly, at this current moment in time, if this table was a person, I would be lunge punching it in the fucking nuts. I've definitely had enough of this fucking game to last me a lifetime. It's going to be quite a while before I do any more uh, of these. The frustration is just fucking ridiculous. So, um, yeah, fear itself gets 8.5 out of 10, but don't ask me how it scores that at this current moment, because I think the whole game can just fuck off for all I care. Uh, next one will be sometime, but not for a while.